welcome to the examination of the wounds. Before you examine any wound, there is a preliminary steps. First, greetings to the patient. Introduce yourself. Take permission for examination. And wear gloves. Let the patient feel comfortable, supine or, or sitting position, and gently open the dressing. And you come to the inspection of the wound. First, the site of the wound. The site of the wound give a clue to the healing of the wound. A wound in the head and neck, it will heal better than wounds in the feet. The shape of the wound, oval in shape, or linear in shape, or irregular, can give a clue to the healing as an incised wound by sharp instrument heals better than a blunt injuries wound with the skin loss that needs a lot of time. The size of the wound, you can measure it in CM, both direction. The number of the wounds, whether the wounds are bleedings or not, any bleeding in the wound you have to mention, any discharge from, wood, from the wound means that the wound is infected one. The floor of the wound, whether there is good granulation tissue or slough or dead tissue. The depth of the wound in millimeter and the structures involved, skin, subcutaneous fat, muscle, vein, artery, bone, deep fascia, and so on. The age of the wound, is it regular, an incised wound, or irregular in the blunt injuries? The surroundings of the wound, any signs of oedema, any signs of inflammation, redness, it means that the wound is infected one. If you have a sutured wound, you have to mention whether the suture material used is silk, nylon, and the technique of suturing, your simple interrupted suture. After finishing the inspection, you can palpate for tenderness, for oedema, for temperature. You have to examine the axillary lymph nodes. These lymph nodes would be enlarged when there is infected wounds. You have to examine structures involving the wounds here, the eyes, you have to examine the eyes as well. And at the end, you should disinfect the wound, put a clean gauze, dress the wound, thank and cover the patient. And thank you.